pink moon. Yeah, I so. Yo, I pitch wisdom for the kids, them solid as a prism keeps the funky rhythm. If I want it, I go and get it. My blood. Welcome to my Italy chronicles of our week in Amalfi, one of the most beautiful and hot places on earth. We drove to the west coast from Lecce in the morning and got gas station caprese sandwiches, which were amazing. Ça mange bien matin. Ça c'est sandwich hour. Rar. Rar. After several hours in the car, we took a ferry to Amalfi from Salerno and walked up 160 something steps to our Airbnb at the very top of the hill. I'm dead. Can I take a shower? Anyway, I'm gonna chill and then I'm gonna go eat. I'm really tired. Kinda hungover, not gonna lie. That's why I lack enthusiasm. I'm also hungo, so. Mila and I got ready to go out to eat with Mila's friend who was staying on the coast at the same time as us. This is the fit. All thrifted. Oh my god. She fight trebuchet. Oui. Andiamo. And we're off. We went to this restaurant in front of this beautiful church in the city. And I got ravioli, my absolute favorite pasta of all time. <laughs> then we got some ice cream before we wandered by the water and enjoyed the full moon. On a bien mangé et Cups makes for making a matcha. Doesn't kiss, but it looks humongo. The worst night of sleep, I froze all night. Casey, I hate that shit. She's so rude. I froze the first night and got no sleep at all, as you can tell by my disheveledness. Oh my god. This day was more of a buffer day. We went to the supermarket, tanned on our roof, and just journaled and read all day. Give everything I have to make this way. I take my chance to write upon a star. Do whatever. Going out to eat at the top, not the top of the coast, but we have to walk up a bunch. Just had a very chill day. 11 lemons, foundation always. Five months. Never mind, I changed. I think this is better. TNA Aritzia. Me. We arrived at Il Molino after a small hike through the city. Although it's more like a village, honestly, it's really small. The restaurant had good food, a lovely staff, and was not super touristy, which is always a plus. Mila and Dad got kusse, which are mussels as appetizers. I got Siciliano pasta, which is so yummy. It has eggplants in the tomato sauce, which are my fave. Mom got some deep fried seafood. Overall, such a great meal. Take my chance to ride upon a star. Do whatever it takes to be where you are. Cause you're the only one for me. Yeah, you're the only one. Positano today. I'm gonna go take the ferry. Very excited to see the colorful houses and the pretty views. Yay! It's Realization uh -huh. car. The 
The next day we took the ferry to Positano to spend the day there and visit the beautiful area. I need to preface this by saying I've never sweat as much as I sweat in Amalfi. And this day I thought I was going to drop dead the entire time. It was so bloody hot. As soon as we got there, we were on the hunt for a place to eat lunch as always our top priority. We ran into this couple who recommended we eat at Da Vincenzo, a restaurant at the very top of the longest stretch of stairs, but it was so incredibly worth it. We're walking up and it's so bloody hot. Apparently there's a really good restaurant up the steps. So. Just another sunny day in Southern California. It's where the people came to play. Don't let them transform. We got the most exquisite food there roasted vegetables with homemade ricotta, ricotta filled calzones. Stuffed bell pepper, ravioli, of course. In Southern California, but I'm allergic to the rain. What happened to your food? For dessert, we had the most delicious creme brulee and tiramisu. It was so good. Don't worry about it, they don't think. I'm too excited. Holy shit. Dark liquor with the palm trees. Wow. It's all or nothing. Then we walked around a bit. Postano is known for all of its colorful houses and flower canopies. And that's truly what you find at every turn here. I was in awe the entire time at how beautiful it was, truly. We also found this vegan bakery and gelateria where I got pistachio gelato, my go-to to cool myself down and survive. <laughs> Isn't this pretty? Papa, moi, tout ce que j'aime, c'est vert. Mais c'est un vert rough un peu. Écoute pas, papa, papa, regarde ce qu'il porte en ce moment. Peut-être qu'il y a un vert à plus fort. Mais là, pas de temps. Can somebody do this better than I can? Turn it. Can you do your selfie thing? We shopped around a little too. I bought some jewelry and a baseball cap. Les petites perles avec les petites couleurs. Ça est belle. Mais ça, j'aime pas le, le contour tant. Ça va pas de temps bien. Ça. Yeah. got this cap. Cute. J'ai les jambes qui shake. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bro, look at my God. Waiting for a ferry. Our ferry is leaving in like 30 minutes and we're already done with our tour and we're tired from walking up all these steps. We're hot as brick. Now we're just waiting in like a colder area. Just say cold because that does not exist. What did you have for lunch because it's hot? <laughs> One 
very delicious lunch. Is that my uh, perfume? Pacifica of my own perfume though. Comment ça s'appelait la place où on a où on a dîné? Da Vincenzo. If you come to Positano, go eat there. Delicious. Best ravioli and very good mini calzones. At the end of the day, we got some much needed drinks before taking the ferry home and passing out. The next morning, my mom and I rented chairs at the beach and hung out and swam a bunch. This day was super chill. Hello. Just got back from the beach, took my shower, put on my nightgown because I'm hot as fuck. And I am just gonna make lunch, kind of. Let's go do that. Ever since we've been here, my diet has consisted mostly of pasta, pizza, which is fine, I'm not complaining, but whenever I do get the chance to eat at home, I like to be more veggie oriented because I don't eat that many veggies. I have like very hard time digesting food, man. My doctor says it's because I'm really dehydrated. And then I also don't eat that much fiber. We often go out to eat. When you're out, vegetables are often more like side dishes. That's not very appealing to me, honestly. Like. I I'd rather get pasta, a good meal that'll fill me up nice. Oh, f off. That's great. Whenever I get the chance to cook at home, I go for the veggies. Make like bruschetta, bruschetta? I'm not even sure. My hand really hurts, I don't know why. Or I got corn, so I'm gonna make a little corn salad. Put corn, tomatoes. I decided this trip to eat dairy so I can get gelato and have pizza, a lot of pasta, pesto, stuff like that because here there's a lot of dairy and stuff. I still consider myself vegan. It's just like when you're traveling, it kind of sucks when you have to think a lot about food. So that's like the kind of restriction that I decided to get rid of for the trip. But I'm not gonna go out of my way to get non-vegan food and when I go grocery shopping, I only buy vegan stuff. But of course I've never eaten meat ever. That's like where I draw the line. No, thank you. Everyone's so different when it comes to food, which is why I really don't talk about food on my channel. Food for me is very pleasurable. It's something I like to enjoy. Oh, this corn looks dank. But anyways, everyone's different. I do feel like some people might be annoyed by that, but I don't know what to tell you. And it's also, like I said, vivre et laisser vivre. I just thought that I would touch on that because, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, all that to say, I'm trying to eat vegetables whenever I can. So I got corn, it's so fucking good. I have so much, it's my favorite veggie. <laughs> Eventually we made pesto pasta for dinner, my absolute fave dish. I love pesto so, so, so much. I don't think I'm going to be able to tuck it up, but it's okay. Sinon, comment encore 3 miles? This is a kilometer. I'm going to hike for 6 kilometers. It's my period, so there's that. It's really, really not going to be the vibe. Actually, you know what? Positive vibes. Déjà en sueur total, j'ai un bain moussé en dessous des bras. Oui, maman. Mais là, imagine si on avait fait les dolomites. I'd be dead. Then we decided we weren't being active enough, so we went on a hike. Then we remembered why we hadn't been that active on this trip, and it's because it's so freaking hot in Italy in July and August. Oh my lord. We hiked along the Il Ferriere Trail. Oh. Which is honestly a really easy and pretty walk. Just a couple steps, nothing crazy. Calling it a hike feels like cheating, but honestly, in 40 degree weather, it is such a workout.
Miss that smile Lord knows I ain't seen that in a while But it's your style So something must be up keeping you down You will quit Thankfully there was a little restaurant along the way Where we got some fresh lemonade to revive How I felt Honestly I'm used to throwing wishes in a well My conscience tells me that I could have helped without fail Actually speak louder than words And that's a lesson that I learned all by myself Let him know When we got home, we were all so exhausted, so we just hung out a bit before hitting the sack. The next day was another very chill day. We had a lot of those here. I spent the morning on our roof journaling before heading down to this private beach to swim, which was awesome. The water is so nice here. That's where we're headed. Going to meet our parents. They went down to the beach. We stayed up here. Don't know why, but we're going down now. Mila's forcing me to. I also want to swim, so. <laughs> Good evening. We are on our way to Il Molino. It's a restaurant we ate at a couple nights ago. We are going back to get pizza. I'm very excited. I just have this top on from Rama by Rachel. Some Levi's I thrifted. My Lamanzo rings. I'm very excited to get pizza. I'm really down for pizza right now. So let's go. Later that day, we walked back to Il Molino for dinner once again after performing literal parkour to get out of her apartment. Vas-y, va, va. Mets ton pied là, Eva. Bon. Bon. And I need a baby pressure and make diamonds. I won't steal a baby. And I just did the same thing because our parents didn't leave us the key. J'ai des marques de guerre. Yo, moi, ça m'allait juste couper. Ça va, man. Les putains de marches contre marches à tous les jours. Worth it. I got some pizza I was craving and it was extremely satisfactory. My sister got the pasta I got the night before. It's not your thing, bitch. That's the dish. This toxicity that gets me, I fear the day you. Obviously, bon. Gone. The most beautiful girl I've ever known. Terrace, the balcony, I don't know. Our parents went back down to where we were yesterday, rented some chairs, right now they're swimming, and we're gonna go join them. They're like right there, literally. literally. I don't know if you can see, but I don't know what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing this lingerie piece over my bathing suit and TNA little skirt moment. Taking some time. I'm gonna bring my journal. I'm probably gonna journal some more. Just tan a little bit. It's like the end of the day, four ish, so the sun isn't as strong, thankfully. So it's gonna be very chill. Mira, est-ce que t'es prête? Andiamo alla spiaggia. Journal. Nina de Soleil. I'm good. Andiamo. Let's go to the beach. Each. Fuck me up. Mom's coming out of the water, which means she's gonna beg for a chair back. Give it to you. Our last day in Amalfi was spent writing and eventually tanning by the water at the beach. Just walked up the stairs for the last time. I still have another flight of stairs. I want to die. Fucking hot, and I just got bit by a mosquito. Joy. It's the last time walking up. These bad boys. Nothing but pain. I think it's 160 steps, something like that. The only exercise I get here, so whatever. I'm sweating constantly. Ah, calm d'orte. Worth it. Worth it. Okay. AC. Je m'en vais. Qu'est-ce qu'on cuisine? Un bruschetta? Si, signor. Un bruschetta. Mom's cutting the tomatoes. Tuna salad. Hot. Bloody hot. 
Oh non! Ita Barna! Oh, I'm putting it in. Good. Shame on that. What can I do? Cut the garlic for this. Tomato. No, anything else. Nobody wants to do that, so it's your job. Cut what? Garlic. Can you use the knife? I don't want to cut the garlic. C'est de l'eau. C'est en bas de la dernière chute. Chapon. Chapon, parce que c'est en bas. Yeah! Agnon! Après ça, on se plaint que ça ne me tente pas cuisiner, mais on me donne toujours les tâches. C'est pas vrai. Elle... On sait pas toujours. She wanted to be a chef under I pressure. I never said that. The line cook, you're not chopping up garlic. garlic. It's prepped in advance. Please watch it for an hour. Yeah, nobody cuts the garlic. It's the owner of the restaurant that does it. I know my chef. I watch Food Network. <laughs> when I'm not doing anything, my resting face is very angry looking. No. Really? Okay, première goutte. Putain, ça a pris 5 minutes. For our last dinner, we made the best out of the food we had left from our grocery store runs and enjoyed dinner and our pretty view one last time. Next stop is Capri, which is my absolute favorite place on this planet. So stay tuned for that. It's a fun one. Love you.